Brian over at Diecast Outcast issued the National Red Lines Day Challenge for May 18th, the anniversary of the date that Hot Wheels were first released. This is the Jackrabbit Special. This car came out in 1970. It was the only year it came out. Um, I happen to have a couple of them that were pretty beat up. I was hoping to make one good Jackrabbit special out of two beat-up Jackrabbit specials. <laughs> so uh, this actually turned out better than I thought. I, I ended up only using one of them. Um, it was in pretty good shape. So it was the least dirty of the two. It's one on the right in the picture there that I ended up using. But went through the usual process. The uh, Jackrabbit Special car is kind of neat. It, it's a tiny little car. Again, it only came out in the one year, in 1970. It uh, has white enamel paint. And uh, as you can see, it has blue stripes on it. So I, I'm trying to do a restoration, but not an exact restoration. <laughs> That's asking a lot of me to do an exact one. But uh, th this car has uh, some added special meaning to me, which I'll explain a little later. But you can see the parts there, and they were all in pretty good shape. The engine's a little separate piece. The, the trunk lid on the top or the hood opens. Uh, and the interior was actually really clean, and the glass was pretty good. So I kind of lucked out on this one. So it was just a matter of uh, you know getting the pieces apart. I used... A self-tapping screw. It only has the one post in the front and the back kind of hooks on. And uh, once I had that situated, then it was time to uh, throw it in the stripper. Paint came off really easily using citrus strip. I just let it sit overnight and, you know, it's by the next day it's good to go. And then it was a matter of uh, cleaning up the body and getting it ready for paint. That turned out pretty well, and then it was on to the glass. As I mentioned before, I, I got lucky. The glass is actually in pretty good shape, you know, considering that it's an open top. It's pretty amazing that that wasn't broken. So uh polished it up with a little foots polish. I use that quite a bit. Um, using my usual approach, I work it in with my thumb. <laughs> Uh, polishing it up a little bit with that and, you know, wiping that off, cleaning that off really well, you know, in soapy water and, you know, just really getting that polish off. And uh, 
Then it's on to Gauzy, which you've heard me talk about a hundred times, and you will probably hear of me talk about a hundred more. This just puts a really good coating on that plastic glass, and uh, I'm always amazed by the results. And In fact, I just ordered another tub of this stuff off of <laughs> eBay. Amazon didn't have it anymore, and you've seen before I've dunked cars in this stuff. So I thought it might be good to have a nice clean jar of gauzy handy for just glass. And then when I go crazy and dump cars again, if there's any impurities that get in the gauzy, I don't have to worry about that screwing up glass at some point. So you just wick off the excess and uh, cover it up so it doesn't get any fuzz on it. I polished the heck out of the bottom of this thing. Um... Probably more than I've polished most cars before, but uh, really wanted it to look good. This has the cap style wheels, so those are you gotta love the cap style wheels, they're so easy to change. I ended up ordering some uh, deep dish style wheels uh, from the Redline shop, and uh, those came really quickly, fortunately, and popped those little things on there. It's the easiest wheel upgrade there is, plain and simple. You, know, you can have wheels that you just drop in on other cars, but they're not this simple. Pop those little guys on there, and you have a brand new set of red line wheels. Can't beat that. Now, I mentioned before about this car had uh, a little added meaning to it. Well, first of all, the National Red Lines Day being uh, May 18th, the anniversary of when Hot Wheels originally came out. It's also our wedding anniversary. And uh, I know my wife is looking over my shoulder as I build these, and she's smiling. Well, I ended up getting decals, and uh, you saw the card there where I got them, and uh, that they're the Jack in the Box edition, because back in 1970, Jack in the Box did a promotional version of the car where they had stickers that went with the car. Now, this isn't a faithful reproduction because I did not paint the blue lines back on the car, so it obviously would have had the blue lines, and then you would have been putting these these stickers over that. In this case, they're decals, but... Uh, Anyhow, back to the, the special meaning. Well, my wife and I, like I said, it, it's our anniversary. We went to high school together many years ago. <laughs> and uh, across the street from the high school was a jack-in-the-box. We had an open campus, and kids would go over to that jack-in-the-box all the time. And so uh, it being our anniversary... And Jack in the Box being kind of a high school hangout. I couldn't resist doing this Jack in the Box version for our anniversary. So it, it gives it just a little added meaning. And maybe it's silly, but uh, it's special to me. So... Uh, the decals went on pretty easily. I, I had to decide which body line to follow for the side stripes if I was going to follow the angle of uh, the top of the window edge or the straight line of the base. And I ended up deciding on the window's edge. I, I thought that looked better. And um, it's basically four decals. It's a number that goes on the trunk lid or the hood, the back Hood. Uh, the Jack in the Box logo, which goes on the front, and the uh, red side stripes. I used Micro Set to uh, help affix these decals, and that always makes them really suck down into that body well. It really follows the contours, and I couldn't be happier. I had hit this with, uh, as I recall, it was Rust-Oleum white enamel paint. Nothing fancy, rattle can. 
hit it with rattle can clear once the decals were on. Uh, as you can see, I use a variety of little odds and ends between toothpicks and, and uh, Q-tips and paper towels and anything that helps me get it to stick. I had a hard time trying to get this thing to sit on its side the way I needed it to to affix the side decals. So that that's what you see me trying to do there. I'm trying to crinkle up the fabric under it. I'm trying to use the paper towels. I use the little stick under there to keep the car straightened up. Whatever works. <laughs> Whatever works for you. You got to do it. Don't care what people think as long as it works. It's all that matters. So putting the decals on the sponge works for me. So we've got those little suckers on there situated. Number wasn't exactly straight, but it had sucked down to the point I couldn't really adjust it anymore without fear of tearing it. But it, it's close enough for government work. So uh, I, I was happy with those decals. And, and you know, it, it's an odd little car. Uh, the Jackrabbit Special is a peculiar looking little thing. And I love it. And uh, the fact that it was only a one year issue is interesting as well. But I let the decals dry. Let that all get situated. I hit it with a coat of clear to seal those suckers down. I think it ended up being like three coats of rattle can clear. And uh, now it's time to put it together. Like I said before, got that base nice and shiny. The engine's interesting. It just kind of sits in there. And then there's a post that's on the back. You see on the back of that plastic seat assembly which I, you know, cleaned in soapy water. Didn't paint it or anything. That interior was fantastic. It just needed to be washed. And so I just had to hook that top on there, which it's always fun trying to hook these things together when they don't have two posts. But I got it to work eventually here. Okay, maybe it takes me a couple shots to get it to work. <laughs> They're fiddly little parts. That you, you know, fiddly little parts and clumsy hands don't go together well. As you can see, I'm, I'm fighting it a little bit. I did detail the taillights on it, too. The original had the uh, taillights detailed. That was really the only detail on the original. The headlights are part of the, the base. That, that's one of the things I like about it is how the headlights show up. Again, the single screw, making sure that it fit together properly. Mm, rolls pretty well. So here's where we started. Two Jackrabbit specials. Thought I was going to need both of them. Only needed the one. So I'm thinking of doing the other one up fancy. <laughs> something other than white. Maybe something metallic. We'll see. We'll see what I do with the other one. It may be a little while. But uh, here's where we ended up. The Jackrabbit Special, Jack in the Box restaurant version. Anniversary of when Red Lines came out and our wedding anniversary. So uh, hope you all like this build. It's a cute little car. <laughs> At least I think so. <laughs> Whoa, sorry, I was 
having some problems with the turntable and the camera. <laughs> There's some glamour shots here at the end. Thank you all for watching these videos. Thanks for subscribing. Happy anniversary, Hot Wheels. And uh, happy anniversary to my wife. I know you're with me, baby. Y'all stay safe and healthy out there. I'll catch you in the next one.